Oh, hello, you beautiful people at the Schwantz 27's channel. This is Ashton Williams, new community manager for Infinity Ward, here to talk to you about our launch day patch for our upcoming game, Infinite Warfare. For those of you that claim that the beta was just a demo and there wouldn't be any changes, boom, bitches, in your face. Well, I mean, we had to make changes because we had more complaints than the Note 7, and we actually want people to play our game this year. We totally watched a lot of crying. I mean, critics from the community and we're working hard here to address them. The biggest issue we've heard was about the snipers since apparently everyone is too used to them being shit like in Black Ops 3 and Advanced Warfare. In order to get rid of the shit scoping, we removed the aim assist on all of the snipers before fully scoped in and reduced the turn rate while ADSing to help with more precision aiming aka totally what snipers are supposed to be used for. Additionally, the quick draw attachment, which really shouldn't even be a thing for snipers, had its bonus reduce. Snipers have more flinch when getting shot now, such that the marksman perk actually has a purpose now, and the bullet spread doesn't get smaller as the player aims down sights, with it being zero when fully scoped in. So no, FaZe won't accept your beta clips in their latest recruitment video, try harder plebs. The other class of weapons that we totally got wrong was the shotgun. Guns. Instead of it performing like Elmer Fudd's shotgun, we increased the consistency and range of the damage, along with an increase to the one-shot kill effective range. The other gun that needed a nerf was the Ripper Epic variant, which will get a recoil increase to better balance out the fire rate bonus, and the Howitzer Launcher can be shot from the hip like stiff upper lip instead of requiring you to aim down sight. We also heard your criticism that score streaks heard about as much as a passive aggressive post-it note. Fuck you, Lisa in accounting. So we are buffing the AP3X and RC8 drones to have increased health damage and weapon accuracy. The Thor, Chris Helmsworth, so dreamy, has been buffed to increase both damage and and speed since it was turning on like an oscillating fan instead of raining justice from above. Also, the bombardment streak was sped up on the period between drops and updated the Chris move, I mean the splash damage. We tweaked some game modes like Defender to increase the drone carry bonus because you need a better incentive to have the kick me sign above you like you're the unpopular girl in school. Oh, this brings back bad memories. Anyways, in Domination, we implemented a new system whereby if you step off the flag, it will cool off your capture, but it was too fast such that it was like the hokey pokey. You put your left foot in, you take your left foot out, you put your left foot in, and you're just tap dancing all about. We also put classic weapons into gun game and save gun state across spawns. And speaking of spawns, we've refined the spawn system on the beta maps and since we didn't have long enough to test the game in a three-year development cycle, we'll assess the remaining maps once the game goes live. Uh, the other thing that we couldn't really test until a live environment was available was the matchmaking. We have fixed a few bibbidi bops such that we won't have waiting times longer than the VA when searching for games, figuring out your geolocation since we don't have the NSA's algorithm spying on you, or tearing down dead lobbies. We also had a hiccup where our new dedicated server allocation system wasn't actually connecting to a dedicated server and we fell back on the peer-to-peer -peer system, or so we're telling you, such that you believe we will have deadies on launch, but it will probably be split across two games, since more people will be playing Modern Warfare Remastered. Anyways, we also made some changes to the White Boy 7th Street. I mean, in-game currency giveaways to increase the salvage earn rate in mission teams, and the key supply drop rate in round-based modes. We also changed the currency value in supply drops, whatever the fuck that means, but we're being extremely vague about it on purpose. But people getting two of the same items in supply drops 
Yeah, nothing about that. Speaking of being vague, we are also making slight tweaks to the gameplay balance across rigs and refining the payload balance. This way, it seems as if we're actually doing work when we're really just panicking about these bad reviews that are on YouTube. As far as perks and traits go, Marksman had a bug where it was also reducing recoil in addition to reducing flinch, further compounding those sniping issues that I spoke about earlier. And we also fixed momentum, not actually giving you that speed hit it was more like Ritalin instead that would sometimes work and other times make you drool like a bulldog and mark target won't coat the enemies in such a thick shade of blood like a reversal of the movie Carrie. ew girl wash that shit off the last big complaint that we got was about the time to kill to help with this we've reduced the health regen time such that you'll revert to full health quicker after surviving getting shot three times instead of the four it actually takes to kill you and in another vague hand waving don't pay attention to the man behind the curtain type response we think that the server and matchmaking adjustments along with the weapon balancing will help the time to kill problem or so we keep telling ourselves that we will continue to monitor the ttk and rebalance as necessary but remember unlike sledgehammer games and treyarch we can actually code hit detection anyways we're trying this more transparent thing this time around even though i don't have a public twitter because we all saw what happened to tina last year sorry girl and i saw the chat on the infinite warfare esports stream you guys are worse than the burn book which is why i'll stick to reddit because it's not as aids